Finalmente entra el Bank of America y la compañera del fallecido actor cinematográfico Groucho Marx, Erin Fleming, sobre la herencia dejada por este, el veredicto del jurado es favorable al Banco de América. Cuarta nota, televisión soviética. Moscú, los dirigentes soviéticos celebran actos conmemorativos del 165 aniversario del nacimiento de Marx. Nota número 5, Televisión Cubana, Nicaragua reciente, reportaje sobre la situación en un rancho grande a 80 kilómetros de Matahualpa, donde perecieron 22 personas en los enfrentamientos con guardas somocistas. Nota número 6, la agencia Viz News, Damasco, el dirigente palestino Yasser Arafat, rechaza el plan del presidente Reagan sobre el Oriente Medio. Nota número 7, Televisión Inglesa. Gran Bretaña, manifestación antinuclear en Gren, Grenham Common, donde van a construir una base de misiles. Nota número 8 de CNN, entrevista al primer secretario de la embajada soviética en Washington, que comenta las nuevas propuestas de Reagan. Nota número 9 de televisión francesa, tenis, torneo de Monte Carlo. El francés Henri Leconte bate a Borg, que se despide así de los coches. Las notas de Cuba y del rally en Kenia han sido anuladas en origen. Las tres últimas notas han sido integradas a última hora. We think that, first of all, we have to talk between us. We have to negotiate. And during the negotiations, every party uh, is entitled to bring their proposals. Your Highness, if uh, the Israeli Foreign Minister says that settlements would be a negotiable item for them, does that in any way relieve the tension? To say that settlements are negotiable and to give the impression uh, on the Israeli side that they are positive when we know full well that the present government uh, bases its uh, popularity, which is ever expanding, on the non-negotiability of uh, settlements is uh, really just another obstacle in any peace process. Nestled in the mountains of Grenada's southern coast lies Camp Fedon, the army base that American intelligence sources claim is further evidence of a Cuban and Soviet military buildup on this Caribbean island of 110,000 people. But the Grenadians deny allegations there are Cuban or Soviet troops here, that a planned satellite receiving station is for military communications, or that they are building a naval base in this shallow bay at the foot of Camp Fedon. The only soldiers in the camp, they say, are Grenadians. The only equipment they claim are Soviet-made trucks, armored personnel carriers, anti-aircraft guns, plus barracks and garages, all for defense of the island. While they would not allow photos inside the camp, they did not deny the presence of Cuban military advisors. If you are going to be training a young army, the question of advisors is a must. That is not terribly important, frankly. Every country in the world that has a fledgling army must have some kind of assistance. The American verbal attacks on Grenada have led here to fears of a CIA-backed invasion. The island is on alert, with government radio calling for militia volunteers. And all new militia comrades are asked to contact the closest militia base to know... The Grenadians also fear the U.S. Navy has been haunting their coast and say they've spotted several battleships on the horizon but can't identify them. The jury was out for 10 days. Deciding whether Aaron Fleming was the loving companion to Groucho Marx, she appeared to be on tapes played in court. Nothing can come between us. 
or whether, as the Bank of America charged, she was a gold digger who abused the old man while she took control of his house and career and bullied him out of his money. That's called undue influence. That's called duress and menace, and it's called fraud, and it's called stop it. I want to tell you that Rancho Marcus is murdered by this court. All right, Ms. This Fleming man. called the lawyer an assassin and could barely control herself in court. So to her defense were called Groucho's old friends, George Byrne. But the jury said Fleming cheated Groucho. For the plaintiff, Bank of America National Trust. They ordered her to repay the estate nearly half a million dollars. But her lawyers objected when it was learned jurors hadn't agreed on specific parts of the verdict. Late today, the judge sent jurors back to the jury room with no clear decision in a trial already in its 10th week. Дорогие товарищи, немалый срок отделяет нас от того времени, когда Карл Маркс создал учение, обессмертившее его имя. Мы живем в эпоху, которая, как и предвидел Владимир Ильич Ленин, принесла этому учению наибольший триумф. На наших глазах произошли и происходят величайшие революционные преобразования. Yo lo que pienso, pues, que es un hecho criminal lo que hicieron, porque yo estaba cerquita de ellos, yo me hubieran dado un permiso, me hubieran parado un momentito a sacar a mis niños, porque yo les reclamé. Más de 22 víctimas causó este altero ataque contra el revolucionario al pequeño poblado de Rancho Grande. El fuego comenzó a las 5 y 30 de la mañana y en él se utilizó, aparte de fusilería, lanzacohetes y morteros de 81 milímetros.
all our statements that have been made to this effect that if the deployment starts, it will make it very difficult to come to an agreement. But you see, I wanted to mention in this connection that in all this discussion, that also through the day to day and from the beginning, all these comments about the president's proposals, there is not a single word about the British and about the French missiles which are there. And we cannot ignore them. They are there. And actually, the president talked to the ambassadors of NATO countries and uh, said, if I'm not mistaken, that I support this proposal. So NATO countries are in this proposal. My question is, if American missiles are deployed, will the negotiations still continue? Well, that's certainly up to our uh, government to decide uh, when this happens. But it's interesting also that uh, this kind of um, proposal now, it doesn't stop deployment or is not envisaged stopping deployment in That's case correct. if we even accept it. So it means That's that correct. we have to accept something and still the deployment will be going on, which we consider to be um, a move that will certainly um, uh, violate the balance that uh, existed. You see? Finalmente, bem, até às 10 lunas.